500 likes for these scary ghost videos. I always say that if you want to move out of your parents' house, think twice before you do so. But why? I couldn't use the microwave at that moment and had no other option but to use the oven. We are not talking about the same thing, are we? Regarding my first question, you should think twice and even more. First of all, financially, it's not the best move. And when it comes to your health, it all starts with high hopes and energy, making your own food and stuff until your power goes down. But there is a third reason, and it's the most important one, in my opinion, that no one gives a shat about. Are you prepared to live the life of a paranormal hunter? This is not an ad of any sort, by the way. That's the third reason. Did I say hunter? I meant haunted, especially when you're in America. These folks won't leave their house unless there is something poltergeist related. They do stuff even witches wouldn't dare to do. And then they complain about the paranormal activity on their TikTok accounts. So that's the story of Edward in the next clip. No, that was the story of your lost uncle. Of course, we are talking about Eddie. He didn't do any witchcraft, but he moved into this rural house and found it haunted. His garage door keeps opening by itself, but the most interesting part were the statues the previous tenants had left for him. Cool, they left him some precious gifts. Did you say gifts? Where do you think you are? In a Disney fantasy story, they left a bunch of crucified Jesus statues scattered across the rooms. The fact that he still has no idea what these statues are for, it still baffles me. Dude, why do people usually use these things? Doesn't it seem obvious? The previous tenants had some demonic forces messing around the property. When it comes to school, it doesn't have to be abandoned in order to look or feel scary. And I'm not trying to sound like a professional narrator here by any means, that will never happen. This introduction line is one of my daily catchphrases. And why do I talk about schools every day? But who said I do? Now allow me to explain. Please let me explain. So, have you ever been to school at night? If you had, then tell me what you found there. I'm really curious what they cook at that time of the day. But seriously, this building feels abandoned the moment it is empty. In the next clip, are we going to school? Yes, and we will have a pop quiz. Anyway, in the next clip, we have a group of investigators seeking the paranormal. How epic. More like, how cringe. These guys are in one of the most disgusting and scary looking schools I have ever seen. Is it really that bad? Not really, I put a bandage on it, and I think it will heal in no time. But regarding the school, yes, it's frighteningly abandoned. The team starts from one of my favorite spots, yet one of my most hated spots. How come? Well, have you ever been to a school toilet? Exactly. You're already vomiting. But believe me when I say this, the bathrooms at this school are so bad, I almost smelled it. They could barely stand it. It's so bad that doors were shaking in fear of that smell. You might not believe this, but a pigeon was found wasted inside the area. I just trimmed out that section. 
What other paranormal activities did they witness? A lot of sounds, like objects being thrown around, a chair falling, doors slamming, and the thing. What's the thing? It's like a pile of very dark hair. It was somewhere in the corner. I couldn't tell what it was. Oh my god! 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 ये पेटी हिली है बहुत भारी पेटी है और ये शिद्दत से रहायश है ये जो बात ओ माय ओके ठीक है हम यहाँ पे सिर्फ आपको देखने आए हैं क्या सामने आ सकते हैं मौजूद की दिखा सकते हैं अपनी आवाज आ रही है कोई चल रहा है कुछ चल रहा है जैसे कुछ चल रहा है क्या हम ओ माय गॉड अल्लाह हॉरर फिल्म्स में भी हम इस तरह की चीज ये रियलिटी हम दिखा रहे हैं कौन है कौन हो बहुत बुरी हालत है यहाँ की उस चीज़ ने तो वाकी यहाँ पे फिर बसेरा करने जब इतनी गंदगी होगी यहाँ पे तो यार हालत आप देखें मैं ये देख रहा है मैं वही देख रहा हूँ मैं वही चीज़ सोच रहा हूँ कपड़े पड़े हैं यार ये 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 यहाँ से यहाँ से यहाँ से ये खुल रहा है दरवाजा खुला भी कौन है ओह कोई बाहर नही देखिए नज़र में लिंक कर रही है हाँ लिंक कर रही है हम अंदर आए हैं वो चीज़ हमारे बीचों बीच है ये पीछे दिखाना पहले ये पूछ भी यार आराम से देख के वोइ तू है मुशारी वोइ एक बूतर वोइ बूतर आया यार वो शिन मेरे पाँव में कुछ हो गया क्या हुआ पाँव में कुछ हुआ वो वो दिखाएं वो दिखाएं करें यार जल्दी करें जल्दी करें निकल बहुत गंदा है जहाँ जा रहे वहाँ पे चीज़ नहीं है मैं अंडर होने दे रही माय गॉड ये गिरे बुरी तरह गिरे बहुत शिद्दत ये बहुत गिरे है इस पे जाले चेक कर रहे हो ये जाले देखो सदियों से कोई नहीं आया था देखो हम नुकसान पहुंचाने नहीं आए हमें बार बार आपको पता है कि खमोशी हो जाती है स्कूल्स के अंदर कोई है कोई बच्चा बोला है कोई बच्चा बोला है हाँ यार ये देख कोई रो रहा है बच्चों की बात है ना बच्चों की बात नहीं है बच्चों की बात नहीं है कौन है कौन है यहाँ पे हमारे लावा? क्या हमारे करीब आ सकते हो बगैर नुकसान पहुँचाए बगैर? आने दे आने दे आएगी वो सामने सामने आ सकते हो? यार हाइट उसकी इतनी सी हाइट होगी? हाँ ये भी हो रहा है ये उधर ही पे हमें एक बार देखना चाहिए। तो वो या तो चीज हमें वहाँ दोबारा बुला रही है। हम्म। ये किताब भी जली गई यहाँ पे। किताबें जली भी हैं। Unfortunately ये ठीक बात नहीं है। ये कब से ये देखें? ये हट। My God, लाफ़ ऊपर कुछ नहीं होता डरना नहीं है। 
अभी ये वहां सीढ़ियों वाली साइड से ईंट आई है यार ये कुर्सी देख रहा है कितनी उड़ के गिरी है यार ये किसी को लग भी सकती लग सकती थी, थी भाई बहुत बुरी ये ईंट आई है देख के कुछ और भी आ सकती ये देखो माय गुडनेस ये देखा टॉर्च दे दो टॉर्च टॉर्च कोई कोई बागा कोई बागा है कोई बागा है जल्दी आए कैमरामैन को बुलाए कुर्सी है ये यार अल्लाह फकर लाहौल वाला कोता या सलामो या हफीज हो या सलामो या हफीज हो लाहौल वाला कोता कुर्सी साइड पे करके अंदर जाए ओ माय गॉड लाइट ने लाइट 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 क्या हुआ कोई है ये कौन कैप्चर नहीं हो रही है चीज ही लाहौल पर ओए लाइट 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 दे बाकी लाइट लाइट दो यार ओ माय गॉड इधर दरवाजा बंद हो गया लो तो बस You know what was the scariest part of this video? Something that was so scary that I had to cut. A student who loved his school so much to the point where he couldn't leave it even after it was abandoned. He was seen in one of the corners, but since they claimed him to be a jinn, I found it ridiculous. From one school to another, After this video, you must get a free scholarship or something. But as they always say, stay in school, kids. What a meaningless quote. Regardless, what's the deal here? Are you actually looking for a deal? It's very straight to the point. A teacher was teaching his students how to be taught, how informative, and as they were trying to absorb the information, it was obvious they were trying their hardest to not make the teacher look bad. The poster on the board was ripped from its place by some ghost who didn't like the style of teaching, but the man didn't care and he continued as useless as he was. So you won't change your attitude. That's what the ghost said. Then here goes the trash can and let's push this table and throw that other thing. It was a paranormal mess. <laughs> Fíjense en el bote de basura. Un profe el basurero. Se está moviendo el basurero. ¿Lo pateaste el basurero? Lo ha pateado, pues sí, sí. Se movió ahorita, ¿cómo fue? O sea, no, no se va a mover solo. ¿Para qué ese dinero que veo cinco bolivianos ahí? ¿Para qué eso? Está nervioso. ¿sí? El basurero, profe, se, se está moviendo. ¿Se mueve el basurero? ¿Se mueve la mesa? Oye, ¿por qué la mueve la mesa? ¿Cómo yo no vi? Oye, la borra. I have pushed this video five times before I decided that it's time to finally feature it. But why? It just didn't fit any of my previous lists. A French guy who starts his videos with a style. Let's first give him a name. I will call him Jimmy. Isn't he a nice little boy? So what is wrong with this Jimmy dude? And what's wrong with you? Do you think all people have problems like you do? Don't talk to my little Jimmy like that again. Sorry, but it's my first time in fatherhood. Jimmy lives in a haunted house. It's like I've heard this before. So, what's so scary? What's so scary you said? Didn't you hear what I just said? I don't remember what I said. He lives in a haunted house, which means he deals with some jinn. And what do these jinn do to him? They scammed him. They are giving him headaches at night as they always wake him up to the sounds of movements. When he goes to check what's wrong, he finds his TV on. Maybe his daughter is watching some Netflix and chill, but she is still too young for this. 
What about his wife then? Yeah, what about her? She is nowhere to be seen. Then it must be the dog. The dog, watching TV on his own. How stupid you have to be. It's definitely a technical issue. I mean, it's 100% ghost related. These invisible forces must have played with the electricity of this device and caused a glitch. That's the TV. What other paranormal phenomena can you tell us about? Does chair sliding ever so slightly fall into the scary category? How about some orbs? I have an interesting one. Baby dolls working on their own. Not doing it for you. Then move on. Ça fait un moment que j'ai pas fait vidéo, mais là ça on pire. De jour en jour. Des marques, des griffes. C'est insupportable. Putain. Ah, c'est toi qui me fais peur. Alors, il y a quelqu'un Putain, c'est insupportable. Putain. Putain, c'est quoi cette merde encore Non, mais c'est pas possible. Nouvelle vidéo. On entend du bruit, mon chien s'est énervé d'un coup. C'est devient catastrophique. Les esprits deviennent agressifs. Oui, j'arrive aussi. Et puis, c'est qui me porte la poisse. Là, il y a deux jours, les gendarmes m'ont rentré dans la voiture. Et étaient devant chez moi, mais la voiture n'est pas. Beaucoup de chance. Beaucoup de chance. Et l'excuse, c'est le café avait une poussière dans l'œil. Vous y croyez, vous Ben, moi, malheureusement. Oh, putain, c'est quoi ce bordel encore, putain. Ça fait que ça, c'est incroyable. On essaie de trouver des solutions, mais rien qui marche. Cherche, mon chien, cherche. Quelque chose Oh putain Ça devient bizarre. What the Ouais oh, Putain, ça m'a piqué Ah Mais c'est quoi ce délire C'est quoi ce délire, putain Si vous avez des idées, des conseils, ah des idées, des conseils, je suis preneur. Honnêtement, ça. Oh putain, c'était quoi ça Oh, oh sa mère, c'était quoi ça, putain C'était quoi cette merde Fille, putain, hein, fille, qu'est-ce qui t'arrive Non, non, mais non, c'est quoi ce délire Encore une fois, des trucs bizarres se passent. J'avais dit dernière vidéo, mais au final je me rends compte que même sans faire des vidéos, les trucs se passent de plus en plus extrêmes. Ça devient de plus en plus bizarre. Et honnêtement, je tiens à remercier tous les messages très très positifs. Putain, c'est quoi ce délire C'est quoi ce délire C'est quoi ce délire Je viens de l'éteindre cette putain de télé. Donc je suis pas fou, j'ai pas oublié ma télé tout à l'heure. Putain, mais c'est quoi ce délire Un frisson. Oh putain Non mais là c'est pas possible, c'est quoi ce délire C'est quoi ce délire C'est quoi ce délire What the f Ok c'est bon, c'est bon, vas-y, nique sa mère, que tu t'éteins. Putain de sa mère, vas-y. Nouvelle vidéo. C'est. J'entends des bruits. Là c'est des pleurs carrément, donc ça devient un petit peu plus effrayant que d'habitude. D'habitude c'est des bruits, des chaises, mais là c'est carrément des pleurs qu'on entend. C'est un peu plus effrayant. 
c'est toujours dans cette putain de pièce là. Si tu es là, fais du bruit. Vous allez voir, voilà, putain, c'est quoi ça qui approche de moi là Toujours, mais c'est, putain, vous êtes combien là dedans dans cette pièce Oula, il y a quelqu'un Faites du bruit, faites du bruit si vous pouvez. Ok, bon d'accord, ça c'est du bruit, certes. Comment vous appelez-vous Allez, dis votre nom. Allez, là, je vous écoute. Putain, c'est quoi ça Mais putain, c'est quoi ça Mais non Mais arrête Putain, t'es comment d'aller là Putain, puis il y a un truc qui me suit, là, j'ai des frissons, j'arrive même pas à zoomer. Regardez, j'arrive même pas. C'est quoi ce délire, là Lâche-moi, s'il te plaît, là. Putain, mais lâche-moi, s'il te plaît, c'est quoi ce délire Allez, là. Putain, c'est trop chelou, là. Allez, lâche au nom du père, et eh ben voilà. Dès que je fais les signes de croix, bizarrement, ma caméra se remet bien. C'est incroyable, ça. Mais putain, c'est pas possible, ça, c'est quoi ce délire Mais non, c'est quoi ce délire, quand même, là C'est quoi ce délire Mais c'est quoi ce délire, putain de merde Oh là là, putain. Ça fait ça tout, 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 non, toute la nuit, à chaque fois. C'est insupportable, je vous jure que c'est insupportable. Allez là, tu vas me foutre la paix maintenant On a envie de dormir nous maintenant. Donc là c'est simple, tu nous fous la paix. Allez là. Oh j'ai entendu du bruit craquer, c'est horrible. Ouf, putain. Dès que... Oh là là, vous voyez toutes ces orbes de merde là qui passent autour de moi là, au fur et à mesure. Oh putain, c'est quoi Il bouge charmant la table là maintenant, il est sérieux lui Hé, hey, calme-toi là hein. Oh putain, mais calme-toi là, putain j'ai le froid. Allez c'est bon. Nouvelle vidéo, enfin. Je vous avoue qu'avec les fêtes de Noël, le sapin n'a fait que tomber, c'était catastrophique. Waouh, c'était quoi ça Ouh, frisson. On a fait aussi appel à un médium. Le médium, on devait poster la vidéo, puis au final, il a eu peur. Enfin, non, il a pris très cher, on va dire. D'après lui, ce serait 5 six esprits qui sont vraiment très agressifs. Euh, je sais pas pourquoi, il n'a pas réussi réellement à m'expliquer pourquoi. C'est... C'est compliqué, on va dire. J'essaierai vraiment d'insister pour voir s'il veut pas... C'est quoi encore ce bruit, putain Ça y est, ça commence. Y a quelqu'un Y a-t-il quelqu'un Ok. Y a-t-il quelqu'un parmi nous J'ai peur. Quelqu'un est-il parmi nous Oui, non Je vous écoute. Ok. Vous êtes pas content Qu'est-ce qui vous arrive Ok, d'accord. Non, mais c'est bon. Ok, je vais pas insister, hein, si vous voulez. Pas besoin d'insister. C'est horrible, quoi. C'est putain, c'est quoi ce délire D'accord. Et c'est parti pour le show, si tu veux. Ok. Euh, elle est où cette putain de tête Comment Je sais même pas où elle est. Putain. D'accord. Ok. Voilà. Tous les soirs, c'est toujours comme ça, comme ça, comme ça. C'est insupportable. Mais putain, mais ne se rallumer, mais c'est pas possible, putain de sa mère. Si vous avez de l'aide, moi je suis preneur, hein, j'en ai plein de cul. I bet some of these golden statues have something to do with the haunting of Jimmy's house. I'm telling you, never buy scraps you don't understand. Moving to one heck of an abandoned house, then we are definitely heading for some exciting investigations full of shat. And you would be right, even though the rhythm is a little slow. It's worth it in my very humble opinion. Before we get into the real stuff, I will present you with a very simple question that even your average four-year-old can answer with ease. How embarrassing. When your subscription is about to expire and you're bankrupt, you're so broke to the point that even your physical form is getting broken. That said, What would you do in that case? Find a job or rob someone? I say the B option sounds cooler, but the first option is the way to go. Why the stupid question though? Because a grandma once decided to extend her subscription but had no way of doing so, she decided to use black magic. But that only turned against her and fast forward in time, it cost her her life. What kind of subscription has she tried to extend? 
It's her lifetime. She wanted to prolong her life but failed miserably. The grandchildren took over the place after her passing, but they couldn't stand it for long due to the paranormal activities around the house. And here comes our beloved investigator, who will try his best to solve this case by making a YouTube video about it. How lame. It started with a vase slipping, then 100 years of the fireplace gate opening and closing alongside the cabinets. The closet was the most intense out of all. It seems like the spirit of this grandma had a special relationship with that closet. Every time this dude touches that wooden board with an imagined picture of Mary sculpted on it, things go crazy. At some point, the activity got really rude. When some shape was being drawn on the old dusty TV screen, I was about to censor it, but it was just a crucifix. Если здесь кто-нибудь есть из мира духов, дайте мне знак. И что дальше мне с ней делать?
Как я могу тебе помочь? Если это ты. Если это Мария. Понятно. Это не она. Это друзья не она. Друзья, я думаю, что мне, мне, мне срочно нужно отсюда сейчас уходить. I spent 20 years analyzing the first paranormal activity. I couldn't see what was happening even after replaying it 20 times with a zoom in two, because every time I press play to see it, I don't know what happens. I just find myself looking at my phone and scrolling like an idiot. Talking about idiot scrolling, don't be one of them. You have to subscribe and watch the next video on your screen if you want to avoid that reputation.